Hello friends, this is Vidhan. Welcome to my channel. Today we will see concept of commutation relation of quantum mechanical operators. And then in later videos we will see commutation algebra for quantum mechanical operators. Then after we will solve problems based on commutation relation of quantum mechanical operators. So at very first let me show you a commutation relation between two quantum mechanical operators. Commutation of x and p x is the position operator p is the momentum operator equal to i h cut x is all a quantum mechanical operator and p is also a quantum mechanical operator so a commutation relation between two quantum mechanical operators gives us i h cut now i h cut is a non-zero value we know that commutation of two operators is actually equal to x p minus p into x Now since this value is i h cut, so I should write i h cut, but I will just write non-zero. Since it is not zero, it is non-zero value, so I will write that this relation is non-zero. Now this relation is possible only if xp is not equal to px. This is the sense in this relation. So this is our commutation relation for position and momentum. Now what do you know about commutation gives us non-zero value. What can you say about that? So we can see that commutation of x and p gives us a non-zero value. It means that position and momentum do not commute with each other. Position and momentum do not commute with each other. We know commutation relation when they commute. If there is a A and there is B, two operators, their commutation equal to zero. Then we say that A and B commute with each other. And in that case, we also say that A B commutation is actually A B minus B A equal to zero here. And this relation is possible only if A B is equal to B A. So when this happens, then this comes 0 and when 0 comes, then we say A and B commit with each other. But here since X and P, XP is not equal to PX, that's why it is a non-zero value and when it is a non-zero value, we say X and P do not commit with each other. So this is the real relation we have and this is one of the most important relation in quantum mechanics. It is said that all of the mystery of quantum mechanics is hidden in the fact that position and momentum do not commit with each other. What does it mean? It means that you cannot find position and momentum for a particle simultaneously. So can you understand that this relation actually tells you about the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So Heisenberg uncertainty principle is hidden in this relation of commutation. Whenever a commutation of two operators gives us a non-zero value, that means two operators do not commute with each other, then it says that these two operators cannot be found out simultaneously for a eigenfunction. Now let me show you another commutation relation. commutation of L square LZ orbital angular momentum square and Z component of that this is also quantum mechanical operator this is also quantum mechanical operator so commutation relation of between two quantum mechanical operator and in reality the relation is zero so this relation is IH cut and this relation of commutation gives us zero now when it is zero it says just I told you it means that L square and LZ, these two operators, these two quantum mechanical operators commute with each other. Now when they commute with each other, what does it mean? It says that you can find L square and you can find LZ simultaneously on a function. Okay. And it would mean, what it would mean? 
it just mean l square lz means l square lz minus lz l square equal to zero here it was non zero but it is equal to zero and this relation can be possible if l square lz is equal to lz l square now these two operators these two operators are called compatible operators this is a very important nomenclature so let me write it compatible operators If for two operators the commutation relation is equal to zero, that means if these two operators commute with each other, then we know that these two operators can be found out simultaneously, and then these two operators are called compatible operators. But when you see that these two operators do not commute with each other, how do we get it? Because this value is non-zero value. When their commutation is non-zero, then we say that x and p do not commute with each other. so when they do not commute with each other these two operators will be called these two operators will be called incompatible operators or non compatible operators so they are called incompatible operators this is very important nomenclature you must come across so if the operators are compatible it means they can be found out simultaneously for a function and if the operators are incompatible operators then they cannot be found out simultaneously so there are many set of operators there are many set of operators that will be compatible there are many set of operators that will be incompatible and you can understand that what they will mean okay it also means let me show you one more thing that what compatible operator means compatible operator means that if you have a function an eigen function f if you operate this lz operator on this function you will get an eigen value and this function will be returned you know this is the process and if on the same function if you apply l square and again you will get another eigen value and the function will be returned same function will be returned and this eigen value and this eigen value are certain eigen values but the same set of relation you cannot apply for this here now supposing that there is an eigen function that we have and on the same eigen function if you apply x operator first and suppose you have an eigen value of lambda and the function is returned and then on the same function if you apply this p operator if you operate this p operator on this function then here the eigen value will be uncertain that is the matter here it will be uncertain so at the same time with certainty you cannot find out the eigen function the eigen value for a given eigen function and in other term it is said that for two incompatible operators you cannot have and simultaneous eigen function that means you cannot create a function on which both of these operators will operate and give certain eigen values it is not possible so this is the essence of the commutation relation that x and p do not commute with each other it means they are incompatible it means they cannot be found simultaneously and why they are incompatible because their commutation is non zero value
they do not commit with each other that's why and here this relation they commit with each other that means their value is zero and that's why they are compatible and that means they can be found simultaneously that means for these two operators you can have you can have a function eigen function that will be called simultaneous eigen function so for these two operators you can have simultaneous eigen function